Hello, wrestling fans! This is Sean's View Entertainment, the most dedicated and prolific WWE news source on the web. Subscribe now for hourly WWE breaking news, hard-hitting rumors, and more. And don't forget to smash that bell for notifications, comment, and share. Are you a true wrestling fanatic? Become a channel member right now to show your support and send us super thanks in the comment section today. And ladies and gentlemen, boy, do we have blockbuster, cataclysmic, massive updates, news, rumors, headlines, speculation, and debate on this very episode of Sean's View Entertainment, where we always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. Remember to take this time and share this video all over social media. Because if I rent for you, quite frankly, there would be no Sean's View Entertainment. And we're going to kick this off major. Huge news as it concerns WrestleMania 40. Breaking backstage news on plans and scenarios. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it right now. WWE is advertising that CM Punk will return to TV on the first Raw before WrestleMania 40 in Brooklyn on April 1st. This will be Punk's first appearance on Raw since the post-Royal Rumble episode where he announced that his triceps injury and got attacked by Drew McIntyre. McIntyre is doing a good job of keeping Punk relevant on TV as he keeps taking shots at him, both on Raw and social media. Now, in an all-new breaking backstage update, major development. According to Fightful Select, the current plan is to have CM Punk involved at WrestleMania 40 in some capacity, kind of like John Cena. They want him to be at WrestleMania in some capacity. While nothing is confirmed about WrestleMania 40 and plans can always change, and that is why we do multiple videos a day, <clears throat> there is speculation that he could either be the host of the show or be the special guest referee for the World Heavyweight Championship match between Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre, which would really throw oil to the flames, more gas to the fire. Punk was last seen at the WrestleMania 40 kickoff press conference where he worked as a host. He also appeared in attendance at UFC 228. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Massive breaking news on The Rock, Roman Reigns, Last night's episode of SmackDown, The Rock said that a singles match against Cody Rhodes won't happen, but the bloodline has a counteroffer. The great one said that the new challenge is night one of WrestleMania, the biggest tag team match in history of WWE. The Rock and Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes in the walking clown in Mojo, a.k.a. Seth Rollins. The Rock said that if Cody and Seth can win the match, the bloodline will be barred from the Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes match on night two, and it'll just be Roman versus Cody one-on-one -on -one in the ring. However, if The Rock and Roman win the match, then Roman versus Cody on night two will be a bloodline rules match, which means anything goes. Also, The Rock's a lot of chaos, some heat, some backstage heat on The Rock reportedly, because listen to this one. Is The Rock in some hot water with the WWE? The Rock segment with Roman Reigns went over by 10 minutes. Naomi's entrance and some other things were cut from the broadcast as a result. Tiffany Stratton and Naomi were supposed to get a combined two segments and ended up going nine minutes, including commercials from entrance to the finish. Stratton went on to defeat Naomi in the singles match. The Rock has invited Cody and Seth on next Friday's SmackDown to enter the WrestleMania Challenge. And breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, two huge matches have already been announced for next week's SmackDown. Remember to like the video, subscribe. Bobby Lashley versus Karrion Cross and United States Champion Logan Paul will appear on the show. And ladies and gentlemen, massive news on Monday Night Raw and how they're doing their network, their ticket sales, their advancements. According to Wrestle Tickets, WWE has sold 13,332 tickets for Monday's Raw with only 168 left. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Concerns, guys, yes. Update on if The Rock's comments about Phoenix was accurate. Concerns about how The Rock went, went over the line. The Rock went over the edge. Some say that The Rock went over the line last night on SmackDown. But what he said actually held truth. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers. Batista, the animal, former world champion, the former WWE champion. He has been invented in WrestleMania, uh, Royal Rumble. Here is Batista's new look now, guys. There it is, Batista's new look. He's looking like an old man, but he's still in great shape. He's still in stellar shape. A lot of rumors and speculation about Batista going into the Hall of Fame. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news coming through right here on Sean's View. Today we will give you the fastest, the hottest, the latest, the greatest, the newest. In the, uh, if you observe last night's SmackDown, it kept going dark. It went to black. It was censored. There was widespread issues with the feed for everyone watching on the East Coast broadcast because Fox opted to censor a sign, but they didn't really have to do that because that die, Rocky die sign, 
The WWE has used that before. The WWE has went to that level before, so I don't know why they did that, but the Die Rocky Die sign uh, harkens back to a time when he was rejected, when the WWE fans reje- rejected his character in 97 when he wrestled as Rocky Maivia. Fans would display Die Rocky Die signs at the shows, which eventually became part of the storyline explaining Rocky's transformation. It's possible that Fox wasn't aware of this history when they decided to censor the sign. And again, that shouldn't have happened. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes actually responded to The Rock after SmackDown went off the air just for the live audience. And ladies and gentlemen, the major changes that happened last night on SmackDown had everything to do with The Rock. Now, did you like The Rock's promo? Now, in, in my opinion, you know The Rock did like a 20-minute promo on social media before SmackDown. That's the promo that should have happened on SmackDown. That's the one that they should have aired. But I understand why the WWE did what they did at the end of the day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, breaking news coming through. Tiffany Stratton's rising popularity sparks buzz among many WWE officials. So the buzz is high. It is huge for Tiffany Stratton. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany Stratton's reactions have surprised many within WWE. However, we're told they're anticipating them more going into the shows now. And she doesn't have to say Tiffy time 500 times during her show on TV. That was getting old real quick, so obviously they're going to have her go in a different direction. But her popularity is rising very quickly. Also, an ex-WWE star says that Vince McMahon's allegations are going to be detrimental to the WWE success. Do you feel it will be detrimental to the WWE? Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions at the end of the day. Also, Becky Lynch is claiming that she and Seth Rollins are the greatest couple in the history of professional wrestling. Do you agree with that, or do you think it is some other couple? Maybe it's Triple H and Stephanie. Maybe it's Molly Holly and Crash Holly. Maybe it's China and Eddie Guerrero. I mean, who do you think are the it couple, the power couple in the WWE? Also, ladies and gentlemen, WWE is looking to extend their impressive sellout streak on weekly shows as there continues to be massive sellouts on WWE programming. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. Also, an ex-WWE star in Billy Jack Haynes has been arraigned amid murder charges tied to the wife's death. Also, ladies and gentlemen, just coming right now, The Rock's promo on SmackDown draws insane numbers on YouTube.com. And, ladies and gentlemen, for all my viewers, fans, and subscribers who tune in, Rand Yorton attributes his career transformation to an AEW star's influence. Does that mean we will ever get Rand Yorton on AEW television? Probably not, but there is an influence there. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Jey Uso makes choice clear between the bloodline and Cody Rhodes. So we just know where he stands at at the end of the day. And finally, breaking silence after turning on Bailey. Bailey is all by herself. Dakota Kai breaks her silence after betraying Bailey on SmackDown. And on top of that, guys, in the main event of this video, Jade Cargill has put damage control on notice over the women's championship after the 3-1 SmackDown. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. And before that, guys, some, and a bonus and an extra. Mercedes Monet shows off a new look ahead of her Crunchyroll Anime Award show. And an apology has been issued on behalf of The Rock for his provocative remarks on SmackDown, where some say he went way over the edge. More to come. Show and Entertainment will be the cutting edge story in WWE at all news, rumors, headlines. Why? Because if it weren't for you, I would not come through. Stay tuned. Plenty more to come from the brash one. Later.